You might be wondering why there's a motorcycle in my kitchen. Or if you've been following Ethan and I for a while, this might not surprise you at all. But I was riding it around yesterday. It worked perfectly fine. And then this morning I got nothing. So in this video, I'm going to diagnose the problem. And by the end of it, I'll know exactly what it is. So let's figure this out. So I got my first big problem with the Suron. It has plenty of battery, 96%. You flip the key and you don't get anything. So I'm going to tear it apart a bit and see if I can't figure this out with the help of Google. The first thing the internet says to check is that this is tight, which it is. So the second thing is going to be this fuse here. So hopefully that's it. That'd be the easiest thing to fix. And there's even a spare that comes with it. The fuse looked fine, but I switched it anyways. That wasn't it, so pulled out the battery. Now we got it upside down. We're taking off the skid plate, which I didn't realize how much I wrecked it, but yeah, that's wrecked. So maybe we have a connection that's not quite perfect underneath there. So I just opened this up, checked all the connections. Everything looks fine. While I'm down here, I took this off, which just is when the kickstand's up, it won't power on, which it's happened to me before where I hit a log or a branch or something and this goes down a little bit, severs that connection, and then, you know, it's not what I want. <laughs> I don't need that extra safety feature. But what I didn't check was the wiring to the ignition. I probably should have checked that first. So hopefully that's it. I thought I'd give you a little tour of the components while the bike is like this. Here is the belt drive. It comes off the electric motor into the chain drive and I'm gonna convert this to a chain pretty soon here. Then you got the motor. This little guy in here is what converts the power for the lights and horn and odometer and stuff like that. Then you got your speed controller, horn, and then under here you got a bunch of important plugs that go to the rest of the bike, battery bay, and that's basically everything on the underside. And I thought I could check these plugs more easily when it was upside down as well. And they all look fine, so I really don't think that's my issue. Well, I didn't fix this around, but I definitely figured out what's wrong. I brought the bike into my kitchen because it's a lot warmer and there's a lot more light in here. And we had a bit of a breakthrough. I went through the entire wiring harness, unplugged, checked all the plugs, replugged everything. So right now we have everything plugged in, turn the breaker on, the key on, and we get nothing. No response. And that's with the speed controller plugged in. But when I unplug this positive lead, the lights will power on and everything will be normal, except obviously you don't get anything from the throttle, but I'll show you guys that real quick. So I found this trick on YouTube. I'll link the video below, but you just remove that positive terminal and from your speed controller and you make sure it's out of the way so you don't short it against anything. We will flip the key again. And this lights up like normal. This lights up like normal. You can even hit the trip and it actually does stuff. The headlights on, tail lights on. So that tells me that everything is fine and dandy except for the speed controller. This experience has actually been a lot of fun because I got to learn what every single sensor on the bike does, where every wire goes. I learned a lot about the bike and this really made me think that if I'm gonna be riding by myself way out in the woods, I definitely gotta bring a small toolkit with me. Because if I get one little loose connection and I'm just stuck out there, that would really suck, especially now in freezing temperatures. So I'm gonna probably get a little pannier bag and put some tools in there. I'll do a video about that. 